Thanks so much for tuning in to Hook, Line, and Singer. I am your host and resident singing fisherman and wannabe chef, Bob Sellers. We're going to make some super, super delicious French toast. So easy, even a caveman can do it. Come check it out. I highly recommend a good seasoned cast iron pan. This is one from Lodge. I don't know what number it is or what size it is, but it's a, it's a pretty good size one. I know it'll hold at least three pieces of toast. To prepare this, you're going to need a couple of eggs, some heavy whipping cream, or half and half, or milk. Anything like that works. I just think heavy whipping cream uh, is the best. Uh, some butter, some vanilla, and of course, some bread. All I have is white bread. If you have some sourdough bread or some really uh, thick market type of bread, that works good as well. But uh, just white bread is what we're going to do today. Here's the secret to me for great French toast. Toast this bread first. Handy dandy little toaster. Get that bread toasted nice and crisp. One secret I found for really good uh, turnouts when you're using cast iron is go ahead and preheat that pan so it's consistent. You'll notice if you've ever cooked anything like pancakes in a cast iron skillet, how uh, the second or third batches get done a lot faster or, or you may accidentally burn something. It's probably because that pan wasn't preheated. Uh, I'm gonna put this on about a, a medium high heat to get it good and hot. Our toast is still toasting. I do not have an exact recipe for this. Uh, it's kind of a scratch recipe. Some of the best cooks I know, they don't necessarily measure things out. This is kind of the way this is. You may like less egg or more vanilla or, or, or whatever. So just adjust it to your preference. You're gonna to wanna to mix this up in a bowl that's big enough for a slice of loaf bread to get down in pretty good and, and so you can get both sides of it really, really covered uh, with this French toast batter. I also like to always coat my pan with a little non-stick cooking spray. Just about like that. You can also tell when your pan's getting close to being ready because that'll start smoking a pretty good bit. All right, while our pan continues to heat, I'm gonna go ahead and just whisk up our eggs a little bit. And add some cream. Just about like that. I'll do it. Add a little vanilla. Or a lot. That's a pretty good bit. Oh, I forgot. I forgot some of the most important ingredients. We're going to have some good spices in here. We're going to add some cinnamon and some nutmeg. Oh, yeah. Can't have French toast without cinnamon, especially. Just a good sprinkling of that. You can go pretty heavy with the cinnamon. Probably don't want to go near as heavy with the nutmeg. You may not even like nutmeg. Hey, you know what I bet this would taste just like? Eggnog. Just whisk that all together well. All right. That should do it. And you can't have French toast without, well, toast. So there's our toast. I'm going to go ahead and add a little butter to our skillet here. About that much. Go ahead now and dip our uh, dip our toast into this batter, just like that. Make sure it gets coated nice and well. Let that excess drip a little, and then just straight in to the pan.
All right. And now we are sizzling. Back my heat down to about medium. Mm -hmm. may want to flip this a couple times. I do, and then I turn it the opposite direction. I want to get that toast uh, cooked really evenly. And you have to be real careful because it, once it starts getting done, it, it, will, it will burn. See there, that's perfect. That is perfect. That's the look that you're going for. I'm just going to let that go on the side it's on now for just a, just a few more seconds, really. And then that piece right there is going to be ready. That's getting close. All right, to the plate. Perfect. By the way, since uh, Aunt Jemima was racist, I now, well, I, I kind of really have always prefer Mrs. Butterworth's thick and rich and buttery syrup. Mrs. Butterworth, how you doing, ma'am? I've turned my heat off completely now. This, this pan will be hot for several, several minutes. So I get this last one to looking just exactly like I want it to. Want a good crispy coating on the outside. Y'all notice my cooking videos are always very simple. I don't get complex when I'm in the kitchen. Uh, if it got too complex, it would probably be out of my league. <laughs> but you don't have to be a master chef and know all the complex this and that's of cooking to put together some good, good food. All right, this piece is looking perfect. I'm going to plate it here with the others. At this point, I'm going to take a little bit of white confectioner's sugar and just give a little sprinkle to the top like that right there. I don't know why, but I think this Domino in the box is the best confectioner sugar you can buy. Or powdered sugar, as we call it around here. Give it a nice drenching in some Mrs. Buttersworth syrup. Get you a tall glass of milk and enjoy. French toast, breakfast, just doesn't get much better. Y'all give it a try. Let me know how it turns out for you. Or if you have a better recipe for French toast, uh, I, this can be hard to beat now, but uh, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'd even try yours. The beauty of cast iron. I found what works best is to take that cast iron skillet straight off of the eye and right into the sink. And look, using nothing but my sprayer here, it's basically clean. Y'all see that? Just gonna wipe it out now. And it is ready for the next wonderful meal to be prepared. Oh, still hot. We keep our two favorite skillets in the oven. Our scripture for today comes out of 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. 
If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. I had a Facebook post this week that was a little bit controversial. I've, all I see everywhere from so many Facebook friends of mine is Yellowstone, Yellowstone, Yellowstone. You've got to watch Yellowstone. Well, Y'all, I turned it to Yellowstone, and I, and, and, I, and I posted, I'm not high and mighty. I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but y'all, we should at least try. I watched maybe five minutes of the first episode of Yellowstone, I think, I guess it was, and uh, I, I had to turn the channel because... I don't know as how a believer and someone who loves the Lord uh, can listen to someone curse his name over and over and over and enjoy that and not uh, feel uh, guilty and, and convicted by supporting it. And you're viewing it is supporting it and encouraging it. If everybody would turn the mess off, guess what? They would take that out of movies and out of TV. You used to have to go to the movie theater or subscribe to some type of premium movie service on your TV to hear that type of language, and now it's just on regular channels. Of course, they'll bleep out something benign, some type of little slang word or something like that, but they'll leave in the worst of the worst because it curses our God's name. Oh, my, that, that, that just burns me up. But that's the day uh, in which we are living. Hey, do me a favor. Turn that mess off when you hear that. Just turn it off. And like I said, maybe they'll quit putting it in there. But I have to kind of ask myself, that may be what makes it so popular. Do people really love to hear that language? Are there adults anywhere in the world that have conversations that, that, that they can't have a conversation without including that type of filthy language? It's silly to me. It not only uh, bothers me by them cursing our God, it uh, it insults my intelligence a little bit. Uh, as if we're to believe that people everywhere talk that way. And I don't know, maybe they do. I, I sure hope not. I sure hope not. But let me continue to read in, in 16 and 17 here in First John chapter 2. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. And that is what is important today. Y'all stay in this old word. It'll teach you right from wrong. It'll teach you what you should watch, what you should see, the things you should look at, the things that you should hear. And I promise you, you'll be convicted when it's not something that it should be. If you have to wonder about it, just like my parents always taught me, if you have to think about it, then it's wrong. Stay away from it. May God bless you. Well, all right, that's all there is to it. Man, there's not a better breakfast to be found. You put some sausage with that or, or fry up a little bacon, mm, and that would just be a top-notch breakfast. French toast. I love it. If you like pancakes, if you like waffles, but you want a little something extra, try some French toast. It's so super easy to make and so delicious. I just was attacked by a cat. My hand was right there innocently. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, appeared this little demon. I appreciate you tuning in today. I appreciate your views, your likes, subscriptions, comments, everything related to what you do for this channel. Uh, I appreciate it more than you know. As always, remember, God loves you, and so do I. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.